Hey guys, welcome back. This uh, project, as you can see, we have lots of posts and some gates and fencing over there. And then of course some T-posts, boom. This whole area, which we all, we had cut out, cleared out, it used to be the side pasture before I built my house. And we took down all the fencing so the trucks could get in here and everything like that. And there's the houses down there. You can see the little bit of the roof right there. Um, so we're gonna extend this thing out, make, uh, put some field fence in there so we can uh, put the goats in here so they got a little bit more space to run around. But before we put the fence up, there are a couple areas. Let's see, like right there, 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 that tree right there, right there, that one. Boop, boop, boop. That one is a dead standing tree. And there's a couple other dead standing ones back here. A big one back there that's dead and standing. I don't know if you can tell right there. So before we put a fence up, we got to knock those things down because we don't want to put a fence up and then have the wind knock them down. And uh, these things are pretty much right on where our fence line is going to be. Watch my step, make sure I don't step on any ah, spider web. Ah. Any um, copperheads or anything. Yeah, look at this guy. That thing is dead. Dead, dead, dead. So, we're going to have to cut it down. But, whoop, let me go this way. What's the fun in just chopping it down? We're going to, well, we're probably going to make some relief cuts into it. Then, we're going to use, I'm stalling, Tannerite. And I'm going to try and blow it up. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't think there's enough power in the Tannerite to knock down that big old tree, but we can try. So let me get uh, set up and get to going. And oh, the kids definitely want to come watch it blow up, so we'll have an audience. So I cut a little hole in the tree here for the Tannerite. <laughs> Trying to do the no look. There's a little piece in there I gotta knock off, but that'll be easy to pop off. And mix it up and then call the kids. But first, I just thought of something. We have got to see if my truck is safe. Because unlike felling a tree the normal way where you cut a notch so that it would fall in a specific way, this may fall any which way. Most likely it'll fall, if it falls at all, it'll fall right at me because that's just my luck. So what we're gonna do is see, I take this stick my stick. I'm going to measure it from my eyeball, like here. I don't know if you can see. See here? From my eye to my hand. So then I put this up at a 90 degree angle. And if everybody remembers from math class that a right triangle, 90 degrees here by the hand, that means this is the same length as this, my arm and this thing. If I take this and pull it out right in front of me and look down my arm, and put the top of the tree, put this right in line with it, and put the top of the tree, which is about here, out to it. That means that has how tall the tree is. I could draw a picture if you like. Oh, we got sand over there. Let's draw a picture. But yeah, so this looks like it. Well, I got to add the length from the ground up. So it's probably about here. Yeah, it should be safe. So, and it can't be wrong because it's math. So, all you kids out there saying, when will I ever use this geometry in real life? There you go, real life application of math. Here we go. Got our mixing thing. We got our tannerite, which is a binary explosive. Whoops, I'll spill it everywhere. This part, binary meaning two. This part right here is inert. This part is inert, but when you mix them together, only a high-powered rifle will set it off. You can set this thing on fire, you hit it with a hammer, and it'll be safe. Ah. And it is legal to use it on your own property. And this is what it's exactly made for. Removing stumps and stuff like that. It's safer than having uh, sticks of dynamite, which I guess in the old days, you were allowed to have sticks of dynamite doing that for it. Mix it up. 
All right, and we're gonna put it back in our little container here. And and there you go. Let's put our lid back. There's a little bit left in there. I brought two packets out just in case one doesn't work. So now this is an explosive. Like I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It blew it up, but it got hung up. So I chopped a little bit out. And now I'm gonna. Woo! I think it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall this way, and then it might roll towards you guys. So get ready. Or just fall straight. It just fell, it didn't roll. All right. It's so stuck. Wobbling. Right, I think it might fall off. That didn't work. Alright. Hit it with the number two. And saw number three. Oh, we're getting more and more precarious. Just give it a shove. Or a whack with this sledgehammer. Okay, if it, if it falls from this side, run. Straight up and down, shove it this way. I don't think you can do it. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. There's no trees that way. I mean, there is trees because it's a forest, but there's no tree branches. Oh, it's rolling towards us. We cut down this big tree yesterday, and goats are back there. Goats are having a snack. Um, 
Ran out of battery power yesterday, so I couldn't show me winching this forward. And the whole thing fell into the woods. Woo, back there. Uh, we moved the chicken coop over. And I flattened off that stump right there. That'll be a nice standing pad for the old goats. Thank you. 